I'd like to start by thanking you all for being here today. You will all recall that in January this year, the Coalition for Nigeria Movement was formed by some of us across the country as a political platform to create a new generation of leaders for our country. Between that time and today, a lot of grounds has been covered in achieving the set goals of the movement. One of such is what we are doing here today, the former fusing of our movement into the African Democratic Congress. Beyond what we are doing here today, we put our country men and women, old and young, on notice that they should expect more from us, that they should expect deepened political engagements across platforms in the coming days and weeks. In other words, this is just the first in a multi-layered action plan to give back the country to its much deprived people. As we stated in January during the launch of the CNM, we are taking on this task not minding the inconveniences and other expected and unexpected consequences of our efforts at reinventing the country. We admit that structural inadequacies and failure of leadership have robbed our country of greatness. We also note that a future of greatness for Nigeria will only be birthed by a new generation of youthful leaders with fresh ideas and knowledge of what it takes to go on a 21st century nation. This gathering here today is a proof that the most best effort at waking up the vast majority of our people to, for once, take their destiny in their hands as demanded by the Constitution are bearing fruits already. Our Constitution guarantees all Nigerians their fundamental human rights, including freedom of association and the right to hold political views. The decision to move into the African Democratic Congress, therefore, is an appreciation of the progressive essence of the party and its untainted existence on the terrain of our nation's politics. <laughs> While I, on behalf of the leadership and over three million members of the CNM, congratulate ADC as the vehicle for national reinvention, <laughs> I urge us to let us know that the task ahead is an address one that needs further strengthening of the forces of change. What I'm saying is that we should be open to new engagements and alliances being forged and crystallizing across the country. We should remain committed to the use of the tools of democracy to recreate Nigeria that we truly serve all, irrespective of religion, tribe, or socioeconomic status. We have said it before, 
and we are stating it here again, that the current state of despair and despondency in Adia country is an ill wind. It is foreboding and can only lead to a conflagration. Between January when CNM was formed and now, can we say that the story of Nigeria has changed for the better? Have things not worsened at all levels? Indeed, every one of us who has been in power before at whatever level may have a share of the blame for the state of the nation. That fact, however, would not disqualify us from being part of and indeed stand at the vanguard of finding a lasting solution to this problem. Indeed, those who have seen it all, but with the right perspective, a better place to bring in knowledgeable young men and women to come and reinvent the country for the challenges of the future. ADC and other like-minded political parties should join other patriots in democratically building and enthroning a new set of youthful, knowledgeable, and goal-oriented leadership for this country. We believe, therefore, that true right engagements and fundamental reordering of the affairs of our nation, our country will be out of the woods. <laughs> Nigerians are very resilient people. They are great optimists. They have invested so much trust and hope in a democracy, democratic uh, infrastructure with very miserable returns so far. As I stated during the launch of CNM, our country must not continue to be condemned to a four yearly ritual of voting without results. To get positive results, therefore, we must get right the choice of leadership. But I must say, the apple does not fall far from its tree. Only credible, positive platform can produce positive results. A tree conceived and nurtured in lies can only bear imaginary fruits. Every government has ideas and programs, most times packaged in flowery prose. The deficit in leadership is noticed at the point of implementation of the ideas and policies. ADC, from its well-enunciated policies and programs, is well placed to make democracy work for the people. ADC is properly placed to join other patriots in moving Nigerians in all the words, the 774 local governments and the 36 states to join hands to make a country truly great. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we have a job to do. The destiny of Nigeria is not to remain forever in crisis and in the doldrums. As the CNM takes this momentous step of coalition into ADC as a vital step in building a national consensus to reconstruct the country, we assure all Nigerians with their support and the understanding of like-minded persons and organizations across the country, Nigeria will be rescued. God willing, the elections of 2018 and 2019 will be used to cure the cause and afflictions of failed leadership and perpetual underdevelopment. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate you for being the host here today. 
Together, we shall make Nigeria work again. I thank you. God bless you.